Good morning, YouTube. All right, this is going to be kind of a rant. So I went to Rite Aid and I went to Safeway this morning. Had an awesome time at Rite Aid. No conflict, no problems. Then I went to Safeway. Everything was cool. I went specifically to buy my husband some uh, root beer because, you know, he's addicted to root beer floats. So I went and I picked up four of the Safeway brand root beer because they were 85 cents when you bought four which was cheaper than buying the 4 and W or 4 mug for 99 cents a piece. Anyway, I come home, right, and I realize that my gas rewards are off. Like, I went to Safeway, I think, on Tuesday, right, and then, like, I have my receipt. I save my receipts from the last transaction I do so that I know where I'm at when I go to the store. Anyway, that's my son. Anyway, um, a little backstory. Okay, when we moved here from Hawaii, yeah, we got moved to Washington from Hawaii. Is that the car? Is that Santa Claus? So when we moved here from Hawaii, right, I had a Hawaii Safeway card. I had to update all my information. Well, when we got here, my husband opened up a second card because, um, for some reason my Hawaii card wasn't working. So he opened up a second card so that when he went to Safeway he could just scan his card with his phone number or whatever. So I called later to change my address because the lady at customer service told me that that was probably what the problem was, was uh, um, my Hawaii address was interfering with the Washington system and so it was like bouncing back my card, kind of like someone who had it wasn't supposed to have it and was using it in another state or whatever. Whatever, some stupid stuff. Anyway, so I call and I join our accounts, which is good. It's been working out, right? So whether or not he goes or I go, um, our accounts accumulate in the same account. So I was like, cool. Like I went and I bought some stuff. I got 29 gas rewards, and I have two that are gonna that I need to use by the end of this month already. Anyway, we. So I went today to buy the root beer, right? It's like three dollars and something. Three dollars and seventy cents. It's not even worth the headache that I got from this. I look on the bottom of my receipt and it says points towards next gas reward. Three. Now I use the same phone number every time I go. I use my phone number. I don't use his phone number. I use mine. Oh yeah? Can we get out your mouth though? Thank you. I use the same phone number every time, and the last time I went and I used my phone number, it said 29 points, right? This is his account number, because even though our accounts are linked, uh, the different card numbers say different things. 5134. Okay, so tell me why I call, and he tries to tell me that my account has never been linked to my husband's. Tell me why. When I'm looking right at it, this is his card number, but I use it with my phone number, and it gave me 29 gas rewards. Then when I come and I use my card number again, it has my account, and it says three gas rewards. She's like, well, you must have used his phone number. I was like, no, I didn't, because I don't remember it. And every time I look it up, I have to look at my cell phone, and I didn't bring my cell phone with me to the store. Every time I go, I put in my phone number. So you're telling me I put in my phone number and it accumulated in his account, but my account has never been linked to his. I was like, so your computer must have unlinked my account. And he's like, well, it wouldn't do that, man. Are you an IT specialist? I don't think so, because if you're an IT specialist, you would not be answering my customer service complaint about how come my points are down to three and it don't say nothing about my 29 points and my two accumulated gas rewards. You don't know. It's a computer. It does whatever it wants. It gets a glitch, unlink my account or whatever. And now I'm like, what? Where's my points? So I'm like, well, can you link it back? And he's like, yeah, but it was never linked. Then he tries to tell me that I never changed my address from Hawaii to Washington. Yes, I did. I called like two months ago and changed it. Like, what do you mean? I know that I did. Please stop the madness. See, the thing is, it'd be different. Okay, so here's the deal. It'd be different if I really did it, right? I wouldn't be so mad but when you come at me and try to tell me that I never did or the computer wouldn't do that or I must have been using a phone number that I know I haven't been using because every time I go to Safeway I use my phone number because I remember it and not my husband's 
then I feel like you calling me stupid. So I have a problem. And then my husband's like in the background like, because I'm about ready to rip him a new one. Got me acting like tomorrow isn't Sunday. Ugh. Anyway, so irritated. Anyway, he fixed it or whatever. And then I was like, Ugh. like I got off the phone. I'm so irritated, obviously, because I had to make a rant. But I'm just saying, I hate it when they be trying to tell you that you don't know what you know. Like, it wasn't even the fact that it was a link. Like, fine, like just link the accounts back or whatever. But as soon as he started running his mouth talking about, oh well, you then you didn't use that phone number. Oh well, but 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 like yes, I know I changed my address. I know I linked my account. I know I used my phone number, and then all of a sudden today my account isn't linked. Fuck out of here with that. All right, so that's my rant for Safeway. Frick, all of that just to get some cheap soda. Never again. Tell you what, never again. All right, so how let you go.